Hello, members. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to Fall School of Golf. As you can see, we have a special guest, Stephanie. Uh, most of you probably won't, don't know this, but uh, Stephanie is a TPI certified trainer, which is the Titleist Performance Institute. So uh, she's here to show us some warm ups that you can use in the wintertime so to prevent you from getting hurt uh, when you're actually playing golf. So in the next segment, Stephanie will show you some more. Hi, this is gonna warm up your shoulders and you just wanna feel like you're pressing the club up. It should warm up your shoulders nicely. You're gonna to wanna to do about three sets of 10 with that. And we are gonna be doing a flat shoulder movement. So basically, you're gonna take your hands like so, one hand is going to go up, one hand is going to push back. Side. And you should be feeling it right in your lap on your back. Um, you should be doing about 10 reps per side. Next, we're going to get down on the floor and we're going to do a hip stretch. So, you should always feel like your core is braced. You don't want to feel like you're pushing back like that and arching your lower back. Core should always be up, and you're going to push forward. You should be feeling that stretch right through your hip. You want to do that about three times, holding it for about 20 seconds, doing it on both sides. Again, making sure your core is braced. Your feet are going to be about hip width apart, and the goal is to make sure your lower back stays as close to the ground. So both knees are going to point to a direction, and opposite direction. And the goal is to also keep your core braced to the ground so you only want to go as far as you can. So you can see if I go too far, my back is going to come up. You're only going to want to keep it to where you keep it on the ground. After that, a little bit of a core warm up just to help you engage it, get ready for the round. So basically this is a version of a dead bug and you're going to keep your hands up and you're gonna alternate sides. Again, the most important thing, you can see that my arms are moving and yes, I'm getting some shoulder rotation, but it's really engaging my core to stay to the ground. If I'm arching my back like this, you can see I come up off the ground. So members, I hope that helps you. But if you, if you have other questions about any other exercises for like strengthening, you can always email Stephanie at at stephanieL at ccstalvins.com. So thank you for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye.